Dear learners, today's topic of discussion is tannins. After completing this discussion, you will be able to define tannins. You will be able to list properties of tannins, classify tannin, and find the chemical test applicable for tannins. The term tannin, first introduced by French chemist Armand Seguin in 1796. Actually, this term was derived from a French word tanner, which denotes the darken. Tannins are complex organic non nitrogenous polyphenolic compound of high molecular weight, and the molecular weight ranges from 1000 to 5000. These are usually localized in the specific part of the plant like leaves, stems, fruit and bark. These are characterized by their ability to combine with the protein of animal hides and convert it into leather. So tannin has a property uh, to convert the animal hide uh, into leather. On this basis, a tannin is a substance which is detected uh, qualitatively by tanning test or gold bitter skin test and determined quantitatively by its adsorption on standard hide or skin powder. This definition excludes simpler phenolic substances often present with tannin like gallic acid catechin, fluorogenic acids, so they are known as pseudotannin. Tannins are the secondary metabolites that are widely distributed in plants, usually found in the dead or dying tissues or cells. Why the tannin is produced in plant? They exert an inhibitory effect on the many enzymes due to protein precipitation and they contribute the protective functions in bark and hardwood. Commercially, generally they are obtained from the uh, coir bark, chestnut, myrobalan and uh, pharmaceutically they are obtained from the oak gall. So tannins are the secondary metabolites, they are polyphenolic in nature, they are non-nitrogenous organic compound and these are usually localized in the specific part of the plant like leaves, stems, fruit and barks. Tannin has the ability uh, to combine with uh, proteins and convert animal skin uh, into leather and prevent the putrefactions of the animal skin. They are the polyphenolic compound. So basically here you can see the structure of the phenol and this contain one phenolic hydroxyl group, phenolic group and here you can see the Two phenolic groups are present, so this is catechol, and here you can see the three which group is present, the three phenolic group is present. So this is actually a pyrogallol, and here you can see another derivatives of the pyrogallol that is gallic acid. So these are polyphenolic because here you can see the two phenolic groups are present, here three phenolic groups. Uh, here also three phenolic groups are present. These are polyphenolic compounds. But can we say these are tannin? In previous definition, we just observed that the molecular weight of the tannin should be ranges from um, 1000 to 5000. But here, if you calculate the molecular weight of this catechol, you will get uh, 100 and uh, 110.11 uh, here you will get the molecular weight 126.11 and here 170.12 so are they uh, tannins no because their molecular weight is lesser than 
thousand. So who are the tannins? Tannins are the polymer of this type of compound. So if we multiply this type of compound, we can get easily the um, polyphenolic compounds with molecular weight of thousand. So tannins are the polymers of this unit and these units are known as the pseudo tannin. So let's see the properties of uh, tannins. It has astringent taste. Tannins uh, has astringent taste and they are soluble in water and alcohol and the solution shows acidic properties uh, or acidic uh, pH that is due to the presence of the phenolic compound. It co-precipitate with proteins, so very important property of the tannin for that reason uh, pharmaceutically this is used as the astringent drug. So it co-precipitate with uh, uh, proteins, alkaloids, gelatin, heavy metals. It shows color reaction with the iron salt and produces a bluish black or brown color. And true tannin shows gold bitter skin taste. What is gold bitter skin taste? Let's see. This is the gold bitter skin. Uh, generally um, manufactured with uh, ox intestinal membrane. So here we have to take ox intestinal membrane and that is will be treated with uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid then rinsed with distilled water to remove the excess acid and then the skin is treated with the uh, taste tannin solution and again washed with distilled water to remove the excess tannin solution that are available in the surface of the skin and again the skin which is treated with uh, tannin is soaked with ferrous sulfate solution. If we get brown or black color, then that confirms the qualitatively uh, the presence of tannin. Classification of tannin. Let us see the classification of the tannin. On the basis of their ability to be hydrolyzed, uh, tannins are broadly classified into two major categories. One is the hydrolyzable tannin and another is the non-hydrolyzable or condensed tannin. Hydrolyzable tannins are readily hydrolyzed by the acids, alkalis or enzymes like tannins and produce uh, gallic acid or elagic acid or their derivatives. Example of this uh, hydrolyzable tannin containing drugs are nutgal and myrobalan. Uh, whereas non-hydrolyzable tannin, they are resistant to the hydrolysis uh, by acids or enzyme. Uh, these are related to the flavonoids. And another category I just mentioned that are the unit of the tannin, low molecular weight compound, uh, polyphenolic compound like gallic acid, catechin, uh, chlorogenic acid, they are known as um, pseudo tannin. Hydrolyzable tannins, they are easily hydrolyzed by the acids or enzyme and they can develop the product uh, after hydrolysis. Gallic acid, here you can see the st structure of gallic acid. Hexahydroxydiphenic acid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, hexahydroxydiphenic acid or the, their condensed derivative elagic acid or similar compounds. On dry distillation, this uh, hydrolyzable tannin. Um, uh, uh, on uh, hydrolysis, the hydrolyzable tannin produces uh, gallic acid or similar compound and this gallic acid and similar compound on dry distillation uh, produce pyrogallol. On treatment with ferric chloride, uh, this type of tannin shows blue color. Examples are the gallotannin and nutgal elagi tannin and myrobalan. Non-hydrolyzable tannin, they are resistant to hydrolysis by acid or enzyme. If we treat this type of uh, tannin with uh, um, uh, acids, they can produce a red color complex compound, clobaphene. 
these are related to the flavonoid structure and having the polymeric um, flavon 3 all structure so repetition of this type of structure is available this is the structure of the flavon 3 all structure um, this is flavon 3 all and the example is catechin here you can see the catechin uh, structure which is present in T catechu gambia on treatment with acid or enzyme they converted into the red insoluble compound which is known as flobafin insoluble in water and indicates typical brownish red color on dry distillation um, this type of compounds the uh, flobafin converted into the catechol on treatment with um, of ferric chloride condensed tannin or non hydrolyzable tannin shows green color Pseudotannin, these are the compound of low molecular weights and do not respond to the gold bitter skin test. Examples are the gallic acid, catechin, chlorogenic acid. Pharmaceutically, tannins are very important compound. Mostly, they are used as astringent and uh, for the uh, treatment of wound healing, piles, hemorrhage, um, boils, uh, short throat the property is utilized astringent means they can precipitate the protein and that is also used for the treatment of the diarrhea because they precipitate certain essential protein in the gastrointestinal tract and uh, prevents the um, loss of water and as earlier in property uh, um, we just mentioned that uh, tannins they can co-precipitate the heavy metal um, they can co-precipitate pesticides alkaloids uh, gelatin so basically uh, when uh, pesticides is consumed uh, by a particular person so the, this can be uh, useful uh, or heavy metal poisoning that can be useful as an antidote Let's see the chemical test of tannin. Mm, most important qualitative chemical test we just mentioned that is the gold bitter skin test and that is applicable for the true tannins. For other tannins, 5% ferric chloride solution, it shows the greenish um, or bluish black color. This is also a common test for um, most kind of tannin. And with lead acetate, it gives the white precipitate. With gelatin solution, it also gives a white precipitate. With bromine water, they, um, we observe the decoloration of the solution of the bromine water. And with acetic acid solution, it shows the red color solution. With uh, potassium dichromate, it shows red precipitate. Dilute ammonium hydroxide and potassium ferricyanide gives red coloration with tannin. So, these are the common qualitative tests for the tannin. Thank you and happy learning.